So a couple of basic kicks, you have your front kick, a roundhouse, and side kick. Uh, typically you don't want to kick higher than the waist. For a couple of reasons, the older you get, the less flexible you are. Two, there's a lot of time between here and here. It's easy to intercept higher kicks, then you're very vulnerable. You want to keep your kicks short and fast. Same idea with uh, coming back twice as fast with your, with your strikes, it's the same with your legs. Uh, so your first one I'm going to cover is the roundhouse. So that's not a spinning, that's just bringing your leg up, rotating your hips, snapping your leg out, pulling it back, and rotating back to your line one. So if you can imagine, or even set up a chair, lift your leg up and over it, snap and back over the chair. Lifting over a chair is uh, it's a really good way to practice that kick. So up and back twice as fast, get your base planted. So the front kick, you're kicking with the, the ball of your toes, of your foot. And it's the same idea, you bring your leg up and snap it out. Bring your leg back down and plant your base. So the angle that your thigh is pointing, is pointing right at the target. All you do is straighten the bottom part of your leg out, and that's your strike. And you don't want to lean into it really hard and follow through and step through the guy. If there's any kind of a miss or deflection, you're going to be taken off balance. So out, snap, and bring it back quick. So your other kick is your side kick, and this sort of breaks the rules a bit because you are turning sideways as a side kick. So your lines are pointing this way, and your strike is going this way. And you can do cross steps to get to bring in closer, or just throw it from where you are, but it's your lead foot that's doing the side kick. So you bring your foot up, your thigh up, and you're tipping your hips and driving using the edge of your of your foot, like a knife edge, for that side kick. Bring it out and back twice as fast. Up to 